Napier Ta slash Yan Yon members of Aung San Suukyi's victorious National League for Democracy (NLD) were in tears on Wednesday as Myanmar swore in its first president with no military ties in more than half a century. Din Kaya, a close friend and confidant of the Nobel Peace Prize laureate, was handpicked by her to run Myanmar's government because a constitution drafted by the former junta bars the democracy champion from the top office. In a short address to the chamber, Din Kaya reiterated Suukyi's stance on the importance of changing the 2008 charter, which entrenches the military's powerful position in politics, and called for national reconciliation. NLD lawmakers were emotional at the scale of the achievement after decades of struggle, including years when many of them were jailed or, like Suukyi herself, put under house arrest. I couldn't sleep last night. Our President Yu Hdinkaya's speech is something we have never heard before in the country, NLD lawmaker Thire Yagna, 28, said. He promised that he will work for the country with the respect to our leader Aung San Suukyi. It's such a big step and this has happened because everybody pushed together forward. Relations between the armed forces and SUUKYI will define the success of Myanmar's most significant break from military rule since the army seized power in 1962. Our new government will implement national reconciliation, peace in the country, emergence of a constitution that will pave the way to a democratic union, and enhance the living standard of the people, said Hing Kaya sporting the NLD's traditional burnt orange jacket. We have the duty to work for the emergence of a constitution that is appropriate for our country and also in accordance with democratic standards. Tension had simmered in the run-up to the November election and as the NLD prepared to take power. Suukyi wants to demilitarize Myanmar's politics but effectively needs.